So Khadija, congratulations. How does it feel to be a Manchester City player? Um, thank you. Um, first and foremost, it's 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 amazing. You know, I chose Man City because I wanted to be a part of the environment. You know, I wanted to be a part of the the, the culture. I want to, you know, play for this for this team. So, you know, I want to get tested. So, and I've seen a lot of experience in the group. So, I think you know, I could definitely learn from everyone around me because everyone is different and unique in their own way. So, it, it's definitely feels amazing. What is it about the club in particular that you liked about the culture? Uh, just just the the the, the way the, the the club is you know the the their their you know their way of of how they you know do things you know the style of play i think you know the the men and women play similar so i think it's within the club so you know it's just just an environment where you know both both teams you know can can come together you know and, and have you know on the same level playing field so i think not a lot of clubs have that, you know, so I'm just very fortunate, you know, to be a part of a club that, you know, is even. Am I right in thinking you're from a family of City fans? Um, I would like to think so, you know, um, my dad's side of family also lives in Manchester. So, you know, when I when I told them that, you know, I'm going to come play for Manchester City, they were, they were losing it. They were so excited. <laughs> and you feel it's best place for you in your development personally? Yeah, you know, I feel like it's it's another, you know, a step in my in my in my career, you know, and you know, I've I've always, you know, watched the the Premier League and you know the the league in in England, and I've always said that I wanted to be a part of it. And now, obviously, it's you know, it's evolving tremendously. So I think you know, Manchester City would be just the perfect fit for me. What do you know about the English game, and do you think that it suits your game in particular? Yeah, I think it's it's very physical, you know, and um, it's it's very quick paced, and you know sometimes you know you wanna you wanna come out of your comfort zone, you know, and and for me as a person that played in America, you know, throughout the college level also, you know, it's 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 similar, you know. So for me, I think it, it it's good, and you know, I could also you know get tested and learn a lot um, more because it's also very um, growing on the tactical side of things. How would you describe your playing style? My playing style, um, I'm very, I'm a very simple player. You know, I, I, I do whatever I can, you know, to help the team at all times. You know, obviously for me, the team comes first. So, you know, a lot of the times you, you know when you grow and you're coming out of your comfort zone. So for me, you know, it's all about learning and developing. But for me, I would just say I'm a simple player. I'm very physical, you know, and, you know, I, like I said, I just try to do my best. So, you know, whatever tasks I'm given, I'm, I'm open to learning and, you know, trying to execute it on the game. I think based on your goal scoring record, people sort of see you as perhaps a number nine, but you can play out on the wing as well, can't you? Quite versatile in that respect. Yeah, you know, for me, like I said, I'm open, you know, as long as, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm given um, all the necessary in information, you know, I try to, you know, capture it and, you know, take it in and, you know, try to process it. So in order for me to, you know, do the best that I can. So, I mean... A lot of people see me as a number nine, but for me personally, I'm an open player. And as long as, you know, I'm comfortable on the pitch, you know, I'll, I'll try to do my best and get the job done. And Gareth Taylor's side, obviously a very attacking free-flowing football that must suit your game and really excite you to, to be part of that as well. Yeah, you know, <laughs> attacking attacking players are, are very exciting, you know, and um, it's very, it's 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 how I, it's, it's what I like, you know what I mean? Because going forward, it's also, it also shows how you can be and you know your playing style because obviously everybody playing style is different so ta tactically it, it, it shows a lot and also not only attacking the but you know defensively as well but for me I'm I, I you know I love being in the box I love scoring goals you know and I just you know once the team is happy I'm happy also and what's Gareth said to you about how he feels you can improve the team yeah, he we we chat a little bit and he just, you know, thinks that, you know, he he watched me play and you know he thinks that, you know, I there's room for improvement and he just is excited for me to come in, you know. Um he thinks that, you know, I'm very physical, I can I can get behind the, you know, the defense and he just thinks that, you know, with me coming in um to Manchester I would be just, you know, an added um, you know, tactically like an added resource, you know. Because a lot of people, you know, I'm basically I'm upcoming and a lot of people don't really, you know, I'm a little underdog. So he just thinks that for me to come in and, you know, learn as much as I can, because obviously it's a different league. So he's just pretty excited. And like I said, for me, 
I'm I'm very excited also, and I I just can't wait to 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 go into that training. You've got a very good goal scoring record. How do you maintain that level of sharpness? You know, for me, it's it's you know, it's just it's I try to take it one step at a time. You know, one game at a time. Going into this game, you know, I have my goals. Okay, what do I want to do? What are my plans going into this game? You know, so I think just for me, like focusing on one step at a time, one game at a time. I think you know, just scoring. Okay, I've scored. You know, can I go more? Like you know, if I miss the shot, okay, I'll get it on the next one. So I think just having that mentality always and keep going on. You know, continuously, whatever. Whether the game is going my way or not, I think, you know, by doing that and keeping focused and staying alive in the game, I think that's that's one of the things why I love school so many goals this season. Is there anyone you model your game on? Um, I like um Robert Lewandowski. Um I've always watched him play and I think he's a he's a he's a great player. And you know, for me it's it's he plays the same position that, that I do as well. So, you know, he's just a great player and I think he's just somebody that I've always looked up to and obviously you score a lot of goals so you know for me to just try to mimic his plays and you know the way he makes his runs I think you know just just help me you know so for me I think it's Robert would you say he's your favorite current player <laughs> I wouldn't say I would say he's my favorite player from my position but obviously my favorite player of all time is Lionel Messi um He's, he's amazing. He's incredible. He's incredible. You know, he makes the game exciting. And some of the stuff that he does on the pitch is like, wow, like, like, it's just incredible how the way he moves, the way he gets behind defenders, the way he dribbles, you know. So for me, I, I always watch him and I just think he's, he's very exciting. What would you say are your best qualities? My best qualities, I would say, is my strength. You know, I, I I try to use that to my advantage, you know, and I think obviously I I also want to improve on my strength, you know, as I as I go along. So I would say my best quality is my strength and my physicality. What are you like off the pitch? <sighs> I like I like I like a lot of stuff. Um I like food, I like hanging out with my friends, you know, I like playing small games. Um, whether that be table tennis or cards um, and stuff like that. But for me, I'm, I'm a very um, open and simple person. So whatever that's presented to me, I'm, I'm open and willing to, to learn what it is. And how would you describe your personality? My personality, um, I'm different. You know, a lot of people, everybody has, like I said, everybody has their own unique way about them. But for me, I'm, I'm, I'm different. I'm not, I try not to complicate things, you know. Um, I'm friendly, I'm somebody you can always talk to. I'm always smiling, you know, I'm a, I'm a jovial person, you know, and for me, that's how I grew up, you know, because a lot of people tend to take things for granted, you know, but where I grew up, I've, I've seen it, you know. So for me, I, I just grew up this way to um, be mindful of certain things and, you know, accept all the opportunities that there is and try to motivate others and inspire others. So for me, I'm just a very open and simple person. And where does your nickname Bunny come from? You said the <laughs> everyone calls you Bunny. I've had this this question a million times. <laughs> um, I had it from when I was very small. Um, in Jamaica, the culture is uh, you you have your Sunday dinner. It's it's pretty standard rice and peas or your curry chicken or your jerk chicken or your fried chicken. But for me in my household, my mom would always make me carrot juice. And so I would always, I would always drink carrot juice, carrot juice, carrot juice. And like in Jamaica, they say when you drink carrot juice, it, it makes your vision brighter. So for me growing up, I was like, okay, I don't want to have to wear glasses. So I'm going to drink, 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 drink my carrot juice. So I guess that's how, you know, from constantly wanting carrot juice, carrot juice, carrot juice, my brother actually gave me the name before it was actually Bugs Bunny. But now everybody calls me money, but he's the only one who calls me bugs. So that's where my name came from. <laughs> and it stuck all that time. Well, actually, in the beginning, um, I hated the name. Like, I hated the name. And he went and told all his friends and all my friends. And it just got continuous and so repetitive. And one day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to embrace this name. So that's, that's how it's, it's been ever since. And do you have a message for your new fans? Yeah, I want to shout out, you know, the fact, everybody who supports Manchester City and, you know, I would always try my, my best, you know, and hopefully 
by doing so you guys enjoy you know my personal that i give on the pitch and i hope to see you guys soon awesome well congratulations again and welcome to the club thank you